Alright. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I am Constance. Thank you for joining me in the next episode of my English class. In this class, we're going to be talking about abbreviations, right? Abbreviations. I know you were looking for idioms, but no idioms for you this week, all right? No idioms for you this week. Sorry about that. All right, I don't want to trip and fall. So we're going to be talking about some very important abbreviations that you should know, all right? So the first one is CXC. And what does CXC mean? It's Caribbean Examination Certificate. That's the exam you do when you're leaving high school or secondary school or a community college. This exam will help you to get a job or matriculate to higher learning, to a college, right? Or a vocational school. So Caribbean Examination Certificate. So that is what CXC means. CAPE, which is also an acronym, it's not only abbreviation, but it's also an acronym. You know, Superman wears a cape. Caribbean Advanced Proficiency Examination. Caribbean Advanced Proficiency Examination. And what this exam will do for you, or how you will benefit from this exam, after you're done with your CXC exam, you can move to doing your CAPE exam which will help make two years of college all right so you will when you do the cape exam it is equivalent to two years of college so if you have if you are going to be doing four years of college you will only do two if you're going to be doing five years of college you will only do three all right so that is what the cape exam does IELTS exam IELTS International English Language Testing System. International English Language Testing System. So this exam helps mostly, it helps everyone, but mostly teachers, teachers who want to teach as English as a second language, all right, or gain some teaching experience. You can take the IELTS test and they will help you to have an audience all right have an audience of students who you can teach all right so as international english language testing system and you can teach in different countries right different countries the sba school-based assessment school-based assessment this ex um this is um a program or a lesson with that will help you upgrade your CXC exam. It will help you upgrade or increase the marks on your CXC exam. So when you do your school-based assessment and your teacher or your instructor um, hands it into the Ministry of Education or the re relevant testing authorities, they will give you a grade and that grade will add up or match with your CXC exam so you get a better grade all right because sometimes your exam is so long and some persons are not that quick care of so if you get a letter care of means co means care of so if someone sends me a letter and they say that it marks Constance Williams care of Mary Jane the letter belongs to Mary Jane or it says John Brown in care of Mark it belongs to Mark so care CO means care of so pay attention to this they usually ask you in an exam what this means so care of means it belongs to someone else all right um, VS which means versus or against vs versus or against all right so yeah um, annually they have um school channels quiz so you'll have camper down against kc or football team 
the Caribbean against Australia or England. So one team against the other, right? A VIP usually have um, a full stop between each letter, but I don't, let me use a different marker. So VIP, very important person, right? Very important person. So that's what VIP means. So if you go someplace and you see the sign and it marks VIP, you know it is a very important. Don't go step yourself going there when it is for the royals, right? You go in there and cock up yourself and sit down. No. You sit somewhere else where there's no sign. So once you see this is paced on the chair or they might have a banner that says VIP only or it just says VIP, it's not for the VIP know themselves, it's not for you, all right, or for me. So, very important person. So, example, the Prime Minister, right? You'll have a chair or a section set aside for the Prime Minister. You see, they say VIP. They don't say the fact Prime Minister, but they say VIP. So, that is where he's going to be sitting. ATM. ATM, automatic automated teller machine automated teller machine that is something you usually get either in accounts or in english automated teller machine all right so that is a machine without a person it's a nobody's there but the machine is instructing you or guiding you all right so you go to the machine you can get money or you might leave a message or the machine will tell you press one to talk to Dr. Brown, press two to talk to Teacher Williams, press three, and so on and so forth. So it's an automated teller machine. Many companies are using automated teller machine these days. SMS, short message services. So short message services. And short message services like a telegram, right? It's like a telegram so somebody send you a short message mary is dead or your mother is dead please come quickly or your mother is in the hospital please come quickly or you need to take over this position in an office so they send you a, a, a no a short message short message services or you're in a different say state or as they say you're in portland and they send you a message, you're in Montego Bay, so they send you a quick message, right? So you have to come at the office in Portland and work or run that office because something terrible might have happened to the manager or he might have quit or something like that. Anon. Anon means anonymous. That is the next word you should know. Anon means anonymous. Anonymous means without a name, unknowing, all right? unknowing an unknowing person not unknowing person so you don't give any identification about yourself or someone else right i think they have like a they have something on the television these days that you know you can report a crime and you stay anonymous so you can report it you give them no information about yourself so that is what anonymous means so if you see the abbreviation ANON, it means anonymous without any identification, all right? So if somebody might have to drop off something at the office or at the police station, no name, no address, they say this was person was anonymous, right? They gave no information, no telephone number, no address, all right? No, no description, they were anonymous okay so this is it for this class guys i hope you learn something from this abbreviation that will help you in your everyday studies your exam especially if you're doing your international english language test or if you're doing six or your k test or even your sba you know what these means and what they represent thank you guys for watching and i'm looking forward for you joining me in my next class. Until then, bye-bye.